is a city located on a cliff called El Tajo that separates the new city from the old town. Ronda is in a mountain range, La Serranía de Ronda, which is perfect to enjoy hiking, canyoning and climbing. Hey guys, let's start with where it's situated. As you can see, Ronda is surrounded by mountains and it's on the center of this on a tableland. The first place I would like to mention is El Puerto del Viento, which is a bit far but it is a beautiful place to appreciate the mountains and has an incredible view. The second key place is El Pilar de Coca, a peaceful place where you can go hiking or by bicycle. Also, you can eat in this picnic area. In these photos, you can see a vineyard. And finally, my favorite place is La Virgen de la Cabeza, a lookout where you can see Ronda clearly and beautiful. to canyoning you're lucky because you can do it from the Tajo de Ronda itself to the Guadalbín River. There are many beautiful places in Ronda you can visit in only one day, but I'm going to name only two of my favorite ones. La Bola Street, which is a long street where you can find many things because it's the commercial part of this town. After that, we move to the Alameda, which is a really big park with a lot of vegetation and one of the best sightseeing places, especially in the sunsets. In this park, we celebrate Ronda Romantica. Hello, friends. My name is Tali in the high school, Martin Rivero. Ronda is a very beautiful city. Ronda also has a oldest bullring in Spain. And I'm gonna show you some places where young people spend their time. Let's go! Hi again, first place. We're at the skate park. Now, the library, of course. At this place, we spend time studying, doing homework. Yeah, it's not as funny as the skate park, for example but it's necessary and it's really pretty too. This place has been created very recently. It is a nice place to hang out with your friends, take pictures and go skating too. It even has a ping pong table. sportive centers in Ronda and the different sports you can do here. El Fuerte Sportive Center, which is very very close to our high school. It consists in a main building with two covered courts, another football field and a car park. A big variety of sports are practiced there, like basketball, tennis, roller skating, karate. Besides, lots of competitions are celebrated there, like rhythmic gymnastics, handball, badminton. And now let's finish with the local pool, which is next to this sportive center, where you can have swimming and water polo lessons. Martin Rivero is the biggest high school of Ronda. It has about 1,300 students and 100 teachers. The high school owes its name to a teacher of teachers, Mr. Manuel Martin Rivero. From 1934-35 until his retirement, he gave his whole life to teaching. One of our objectives is to include activities that, throughout the course, 
have a special impact on the cultural life of the city. Today I am going to interview the principal of the ES Martin Rivero and the assistant principal of this high school who is, by the way, the leader of the Erasmus project. What are the duties of the principal of this high school and how is the day you work in this center? Well, a high school head teacher has a lot of important duties, a lot of responsibilities, and some of these activities are planning and controlling academic and administrative high school activities. Consider bilingual workshops important in the students' academic career? Yeah, of course, I think that learning other languages is really important, not only bilingual, but I mean all different languages. We, we teach English, but also French and Italian, because we think learning more than one language is very important for the future of our students. We live in a world where distances are less and less important. My name is Daniel, and I studies of this school. What I like most about my current role is the opportunity to solve problems uh, every, uh, all teachers have, um, also to solve the problems uh, my students have every day. I'm going to tell you about our assembly hall. Here is we do uh, all events of the high school, concerts of the high school show, our ceremonies. Hey guys, I will tell you about the different options that our high school offers. First, you can access secondary school where you will meet many new friends and teachers who will help you to integrate. It also has a very good special education program for the students who need it. When you finish secondary school, you have several options if you want to continue studying those you find senior technician in administration and finance, gardening, construction, professional teaching in electricity and electronics. Now we are in the electricity class and we have to teach each other in the field. How many years does it take to finish school? Only two years, it takes money enough. I think that uh, this vocational training is a great opportunity for them because they uh, end up having to certificate, uh, one of them related to the compulsory secondary education and the other uh, related to this profession, this case electricity. Hello everyone, I'm going to present our art workshop. The art workshop at Madrid Pero High School is called Salvador Boza in honor to its founder. The teacher and the students carry out numerous workshops of extraordinary quality, especially in ceramics which today are through the high school as well as the city. The subject stuff in this workshop are volume, artistic drawing and experimentation with graphic plastic techniques. Clay is a very popular technique that our students very frequently use to design some awesome pottery projects. The teachers and the students prefer to work in this workshop rather than in a conventional classroom because it is less theoretical and allows them to foster creativity. Among the interesting projects that this department offers us every year, we must mention the research project of the sculptor Pablo Gargallo, that here are some examples. to have an interview with Ms. Luta. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. When did you start the teaching frame on this school? I started six years ago. Uh, which was your favorite uh, project with French? Uh, my favorite project was to send the students from Martin Rivero to primary school. And they teach to little kids uh, through getting the songs. Um, which was your favorite uh, to teach. I think it's the passé composé because we use rap, we, we use uh, Manolo, he's our friend, to, to learn passé composé and it's a fun way of teaching it. Now I'm going to talk to Marcus in the subject of English. The first one is why do you like the most subject of English? 
Well, this is a difficult question because there is uh, many, many things about the physical education that I like for teachers. But uh, maybe the first one is to, to see the, the, the pupils uh, in movement. The person in charge of the theater is the teacher, Patricia Diaz. Hello? Hello, Manuel. Hello. When did you start teaching this subject? I started this subject eight years ago. What skills of the students does this subject enhance? A lot, a lot. <laughs> when, when you play theater, uh, you improve a lot of skills, such as oral communication, body expression, uh, empathy in Africa and Malala because this place talk about the uh, human rights but the most original play was Back to the Toys and the funniest Mamma Mia uh, where you participate Yes, I am Lola <laughs> Thank you Ciao Manuel Goodbye Do you think about the subjects that are mandatory? Perhaps do you think there should be a change for maybe more practical ones? I highly recommend studying uh, uh, options such as, uh, for example, uh, leadership. The students who, who were in leadership class were running the home school. It was uh, very, very uh, motivational to see how uh, the oldest students were in charge of the whole school, of all the sport events, of the music, uh, concerts, of everything, of the leagues, everything was run by, by these kids. I have to change something about our system is I will give more, more power, more responsibilities, more actual work to the students. I will do that. What would you say to a, a student who feels to unmotivated to go to class. Well, I would say do not focus on uh, the long run, but set yourself some specific short-term goals. That's what I would do. And then fight for those goals, whatever they are. But do not think of the long-term goals yet. No need for that, and you won't, uh, you won't get any benefit from it. Could you tell a story or a moment that has happened in Martin Perez that you would be really liked? The best moments in this school have been related to my volunteering project. They help disabled people, also they go to old homes. The science projects of our high school belong to one of its greatest attractions in the years. Here, we learn from very basics to create our own investigations over time in the subject. For this, we use two laboratories where we help ourselves from our teachers who help us to write teachers' calculations and formulas. In this subject, we create things, but also it is famous for the number of science fairs where it's presented, like those of Seville, Cordoba, and the number of awards it has thanks to the inventions of students and teachers. And some of our most famous awards, like those in Seville, Málaga, even outside Andalusia.
cheerleading is a competitive outdoor sport that is similar to cross-country running, but with an emphasis on map reading and direction finding skills. A team was formed in our school that has participated in several school age orienteering championships in Spain. Since 2011, they have obtained several podiums, but perhaps the most notable were CECEO in 2010 in Cadiz. The children were champions of Spain and obtained a place to go to the 2011 School World Cup in Italy, CECEO 2012 in Girona. That same team repeated gold as cadets and qualified to go to the WSCO in Portugal 2013. In our center, we have a veteran teacher of this sport, Teresa Perez. I was talking with her and I asked her some questions that I found interesting. I think it's because the mix of mental and physical work. Um, but above all, I think it's because the our playing area is the natural. I think I've been in different places around the world. I've been in Sweden, Finland, Slovenia. And on the other hand, as leading the selective and school teams, I've been in, also in Turkey, Hungary, and Italy, Portugal. So it has been a great opportunity to visit several parts in the world. And the experiences has been, no doubt, wonderful, very enriching. The workshop is a play for students of technology and other projects. He's a technology teacher and a company. What do you favorite you uh, in this subject? I love, I love uh, electrical units uh, because I think the current electric is very uh, fun and it's easy. Well, safety methods are used in, in the workshop to avoid that. Tell me three positive things about this high school. First of all, I was a long time ago, I was studying here in the school, so I feel at home. Second, people. Teachers are good colleagues and are very professional. And students are, are good too. And third, the view. The school has fantastic views. What do you do when you study in class? Uh, we work uh, with projects. Uh, so we try to solve a real problem with computer apps. This place is cafeteria, where every day the students and teachers have breakfast to have energy during the day. What do students usually buy? Aquí lo que más abunda son los bocadillos, pero también podemos encontrar refresco. Sobre todo para los profesores también tenemos cafelitos. Do you think that students are healthy? La verdad que esta pregunta es ahora muy común por la obesidad en los adolescentes y tal, pero yo pienso que el desayuno es lo más importante del día. Entonces un buen desayuno nunca viene mal. Si sí, es verdad que no vas a un montón de bollicao ni nada de eso, pero un buen bocadillo nunca viene mal. Okay. Well, to the pandemic, we are thankful that we must respect safety regulations so that the virus doesn't spread. Here at Martin Rivero, we are all meeting those standards. There are several hydroalcoholic gels dispersed in the hallways and one in each class to disinfect our hands. There is a meter of distance between decks. We must always wear a mask and do not take them off under any circumstance, except at respect time, respecting the measure of distance. If there is a case in the high school, they will confine whoever was close to the person. How is COVID-19 affecting your daily routine in class? Well, basically, because we have our camp connected all the time, 
and half of the class are at home and the other half are in the classroom. So we can keep the social distance and it's more difficult to get the virus. Uh, and also this year, due to the, the COVID-19, uh, they have to wear the mask, the protection mask, during all the lessons uh, for safety reasons, of course. And uh, also they, uh, it's very important for us, they, they're washing their hands regularly before the classes and after the classes also. Because of this, some techniques such as acrylics or oils are being taught this school year. But this year we aren't using it because we can't for the COVID. COVID-19 is a challenge we did not ask for. However, we can't miss the opportunity it is offering to us. It would be unfair to this beautiful life to only think about what we don't have. Therefore, do not wait. Let's not wait for the vaccination or for the virus to disappear. On the contrary, let's look on the bright side of life. Let's embrace our phenomenal or awesome daily routine. I think it's gonna be a great opportunity to meet new people, new places, and different point of view. So I think it's gonna be a great experience to, to inspire my daily work. And I am one of the English teachers at Martin Rivero High School. I'm glad that our school had the opportunity to take part in the Erasmus Plus program this year because, in my opinion, it is beneficial to both teachers and students since we can interact with people from other countries, create bonds with them, at the same time we explore a wide variety of interesting topics. I think it's a great opportunity for those students to grow on a personal and What is your opinion about the last one? It is, I think, it's the future for you, for me, for everybody. <laughs> In addition, this program promotes cooperation and interdisciplinary work, and we can do a lot of activities that are usually motivating to our students. To conclude, welcome everyone and see you every soon. Bienvenidos a Ronda y los esperamos de pronto.